production faster than anything's ever been ramped up before in history. Putting vehicle quality aside for a moment and looking purely at production speed, Tesla is almost unmatched. They set their own records and then break them again in a remarkably short time. Yes, their vehicle production lines are continuously refined and optimized until there's virtually no time left to cut. Elon Musk has even stated that Tesla could ultimately build a standard Model Y in just five seconds. I, I think it's, it'll be able to produce a car ultimately in less than five seconds. Like, can you imagine a car coming off the line in less than five seconds? That's, that's like, whoa. However, Tesla has once again broken its own record. As of now, the company has developed a new production line capable of completing a vehicle in just 4.5 seconds. That's half a second faster than the previous record. And at this speed, the process is so fast, the human eye can barely keep up. It's as fast as a lightning strike, and you can't even get close. In fact, the line will move so fast that, you, that actually people can't even get close to it. Yeah, you'll keep asking yourself, what just happened? How did a brand new car roll off the line that fast? And more importantly, how did Tesla even build a system like this? This is what you need to know about Elon Musk's new production technology. It completely breaks the traditional rules of car manufacturing, and Tesla's competitors will likely need more than a decade to develop anything comparable. Let's dive in right now. You won't stop staring in disbelief. The, the fastest production ramp of, of any product, of any large complex manufactured product uh, ever. Now, do you realize how significant that 4.5 second figure really is? An automatic espresso machine takes roughly 30 to 60 seconds to brew a single cup of coffee. That means while you're waiting for your coffee, at least six fully built Tesla vehicles have already rolled off the production line. And those vehicles are expected to be the Tesla Model 2, Tesla's most affordable car yet, scheduled to debut early next year. Production volume is rumored to be roughly double that of the Model Y, with an estimated price range between $20,000 and $30,000. I think probably the cost of production uh, is around $20,000. So this will be certainly very affordable. This affordable model is guaranteed to sell like hotcakes. And with any new car, we usually focus on things like design, driving range, and features. But have you ever stopped to ask where these cars are actually built and how? We're guessing you normally don't care. But when a car is being produced in just 4.5 seconds, you can't help but wonder, is that speed coming at the expense of quality? Especially when this is a budget-friendly vehicle. Producing it this fast naturally raises eyebrows and skepticism. Right now, Tesla operates five major factories worldwide that are directly involved in vehicle production. In Europe, Gigafactory Berlin Brandenburg in Germany focuses on building the Model Y for the European market. In China, Gigafactory Shanghai plays a critical role in producing the Model 3 and Model Y for Asia and it currently has the highest production capacity in Tesla's entire global network. In the United States, the Fremont factory manufactures the full lineup, Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y. Meanwhile, Giga Nevada is responsible for producing the Tesla Semi, a Class 8 electric truck. This is one of the most challenging vehicles Tesla builds due to its massive size and far more complex manufacturing requirements. Even so, Tesla remains confident it can reach an annual output of 50,000 units. And finally, Gigafactory Texas in Austin, the star of today's episode, is currently producing the Cybertruck and Cybercab, and is expected to become the primary production hub for the upcoming Tesla Model 2, two set to launch next year. At Giga Texas, you'll see very few humans working near the production line. That's because most of the work is handled by robotic arms, massive Giga casting machines, and a wide range of automated systems. These machines operate fully autonomously, running 24 hours a day, with outbreaks. Honestly, it's not an exaggeration to say that the production line at Giga Texas looks like Tesla is building high-tech toys. Yeah, each vehicle rolls out almost the same way Matchbox cars are made, only at a far more advanced scale. The speed is so extreme that at first glance, it feels like a scene from an AI-generated science fiction movie, but every bit of it is real. Wherever you look inside the factory, you're seeing just how fast Tesla can actually build a car. Now here's the key question. To build a Model 2 in under 5 seconds, what's the most critical part of the production line? The answer is the body panels and structural frame. This is the most complex and time-consuming stage in the entire assembly process. 
In the past, Tesla relied on enormous stamping presses, where a metal sheet, typically aluminum, was placed between two dies and pressed into shape. That method is now history. The new production line has completely eliminated it. Instead, Tesla has introduced a truly revolutionary machine. This is what many consider the most powerful part of Tesla's entire production system, the Gigapress. Elon Musk has described it as a matchbox car-making machine, scaled up to real life. The Gigapress isn't just another piece of equipment inside a Tesla factory. It's a statement about how the auto industry itself can be redefined. The idea came straight from Elon Musk. Instead of assembling a vehicle frame from dozens or even hundreds of small metal parts, why not cast a massive section of the car in a single shot? The result is an engineering monster, a gigantic high-pressure die-casting machine capable of delivering up to 50,000 tons of clamping force, powerful enough to form the entire rear underbody of the Model 2 in just three seconds. What makes the Gigapress truly revolutionary is that it completely breaks the logic of traditional car manufacturing. In the past, just the rear body of the Model Y was assembled from roughly 70 separate components, requiring hundreds of welds and a highly complex robotic system just to tie everything together. By switching to a 6,000-ton gigapress to produce the rear underbody of the Model Y, Tesla was able to cut manufacturing costs by up to 40%, replacing around 70 individual parts with two large castings and a structural battery pack. So it's no surprise that Tesla is now looking to scale this efficiency even further for its upcoming affordable vehicle platform. The new car is expected to be even smaller than the Model 3, with very short front and rear overhangs and almost no traditional trunk space, making it an ideal candidate for a single-piece rear underbody casting. However, no matter how compact the vehicle is, the 6,000-ton press used for the Model Y simply isn't powerful enough to cast the entire chassis in one shot. At best, it can only handle the rear section. That's why Tesla moved to an even larger Gigapress for this affordable model. Not only does it enable the entire vehicle chassis to be cast in a single operation, but this next-generation Giga Press is capable of casting five complete chassis units in one cycle. With the Giga Press, that entire structure is replaced by a single near-monolithic aluminum casting. The result is the elimination of more than 400 welds, triggering a dramatic simplification of the entire assembly line. Under the old manufacturing model, a vehicle frame was essentially a maze of metal, robots, and wasted energy. Steel or aluminum panels had to be stamped individually, then welded, bolted, or bonded together with extreme precision. The process was not only slow, but also energy-intensive, labor-heavy, and costly to maintain. The Gigapress cuts straight through that complexity by collapsing dozens of manufacturing steps into a single casting operation. The benefits go far beyond speed. Tesla says, this technology cuts the cost of producing the rear chassis of the Model 2 by around 40%. By eliminating intermediate steps, Elon Musk has even been able to remove roughly 450 robots from the production line, counting both the front and rear sections. Fewer robots mean fewer points of failure, less maintenance, and significantly lower operating costs. Inside Giga Texas, the entire casting process happens at an astonishing pace. Molten aluminum is poured into the mold, pressed into shape in about two seconds, then automatically extracted by robotic arms, cooled in a 50 degree Celsius water bath, and placed directly onto the assembly line. No downtime. No wasted steps. Using large aluminum castings also brings another critical advantage. Reduced vehicle weight. In electric vehicles, battery packs already account for a significant portion of total mass, so every pound saved translates directly into better performance, longer range, and improved driving feel. Fewer joints also mean a stiffer, more rigid structure. Compared to traditional stamping and welding methods that take several silk minutes, the ability to cast a chassis in five seconds represents a genuine leap forward in manufacturing time. This is the foundation behind Tesla's ambitious goal, rolling one vehicle off the line every 33 seconds. Estimates suggest the Giga Press alone reduces labor costs by roughly 20%. Once the completed castings move into final assembly, Tesla's production line looks almost like a choreographed mechanical dance. Long, robotic arms move with sharp, deliberate precision, lifting, joining, painting, and finishing each vehicle without pause. The Model Y body flows through station after station, each robot performing its assigned task, until the full shape of the car gradually comes together. 
fast, clean, and with almost no room for error. Next, the vehicle body moves into the paint shop, where everything begins with absolute precision. First, the body is coated with a primer layer for protection and adhesion. It is then carefully sanded to create a surface that's nearly perfectly smooth. From there, the car enters a continuous sequence of painting, dipping, and curing, where multiple layers of color and a final clear coat are applied, depending on the chosen exterior finish. Not all paint colors are equal in terms of complexity. White is the simplest option. Fewer layers, easier to control, and therefore expected to be the lowest cost color for the Tesla Model 2. Red, by contrast, is far more demanding. Based on what we know, it requires additional layers combined with metallic particles to create depth and gloss, making the process significantly more complex and more expensive. Once the final coat has fully cured and been polished, the painted body leaves the paint shop and moves into interior completion, where interior panels are installed. Electronic systems are connected and the glass is fitted. While the upper body is being dressed in parallel, a separate production line is assembling the chassis and powertrain, the heart of the vehicle, where its most critical electrical systems are concentrated. This process runs at extremely high speed, using a fully independent and highly specialized workflow. To visualize it in the simplest terms, everything starts with the structural battery pack. This isn't a conventional battery. It's a fully assembled load-bearing unit strong enough to serve as part of the vehicle structure. The battery pack is mounted directly into the center of the Model 2's lower chassis, acting as the backbone of the entire vehicle. Next, two large castings, one at the front and one at the rear, are also produced using the Geiga press and mounted directly to either end of the battery pack. With just a few operations, the entire lower body of the vehicle takes shape, replacing what would normally require dozens of separate steps in a traditional manufacturing process. Immediately after that, the electric motors are installed directly onto these castings, one at the front and one at the rear. Through the gearbox and drive shafts, they deliver power to all four wheels, enabling seamless and efficient all-wheel drive. You know the suspension system, a critical factor in ride comfort and stability, is also mounted onto the castings, followed by the braking system and wheels. At this point, the vehicle's chassis is essentially complete and can even move under its own power, as a single, rolling unit. It looks just like a giant skateboard, compact, lightweight, highly flexible, and fully prepared for the final stage of assembly. Okay, at the final stage of assembly, a floor carpet is laid directly on top of the structural battery pack, the central foundation of the vehicle. Interior components are then installed, gradually shaping the cabin space. All four seats are bolted straight into the top of the structural battery, completing the vehicle's lower body. While this may sound like a long process, on the production line it happens almost instantly, carried out by a dense network of robotic arms operating at extreme speed and precision. The most critical step comes next, joining the completed body with the drivetrain and underbody, a process often referred to as the marriage. This step demands absolute accuracy. The two massive sections are aligned and secured together using a ring of high-strength bolts around the perimeter of the structural battery pack and the Geiger castings. Once connected, the vehicle becomes a single, rigid structure designed for strength, stability, and safety. With the body and underbody fully joined, the vehicle enters final assembly and quality control. This is where nothing is left to chance. Engineers and technicians inspect every system, mechanical, electrical, and software checking for even the smallest defect. Only after passing these rigorous inspections is the car cleared to leave the factory. This is how the production line at Giga Texas operates, optimized to the point where a fully built vehicle can roll off the line every 4.5 seconds. When you step back and look at the entire process, it's clear just how extraordinary it is. And the reality is simple. Tesla wouldn't be where it is today without Gigafactory Texas, a factory built around speed, automation, and a fundamentally new way of building cars. Beyond the production process, we also want to share some leaked information about this new vehicle. You may like it, or you may not, but at its core, this car is designed to fully meet everyday driving needs with a feature set that's deliberately more simplified than the Model Y. According to internal sources, the Model 2 will be a compact urban hatchback built around an entirely new design with a much stronger minimalist language. The front end is clean and compact, with sharper headlights positioned slightly higher, giving the car a more modern and youthful look. 
Tesla is reportedly ditching the full-width light bar entirely, opting instead for a simpler headlamp setup similar to the early Model 3, prioritizing lighting efficiency and aerodynamics. The body is expected to be produced using next-generation gigacasting technology, dramatically reducing the number of joints and individual components. This not only gives the car a cleaner, more seamless appearance, but also lowers production costs, increases structural rigidity, and improves overall safety. The Model 2 will retain a traditional four-door configuration. However, Tesla has reportedly refined the hinges, door opening angles, and ceiling to improve daily usability, especially in tight urban environments like crowded parking garages. Step inside, and the minimalist's approach becomes even more obvious. The Model 2's interior is said to strip away most of the premium elements found in the Model Y. Seats are upholstered in fabric instead of synthetic leather. There's no seat heating, no multicolor ambient lighting, and no premium sound system. Acoustic glass is reduced to single-pane windows and the panoramic glass roof is gone. All of this will undoubtedly disappoint some buyers, especially those accustomed to the more upscale experience offered by Tesla's current lineup. What's notable is that despite the heavy cuts and comfort features, the Model 2 is expected to retain Tesla's technological soul. The car is reportedly still equipped with the full self-driving hardware stack, including forward-facing cameras and the necessary onboard processing platform. This strongly suggests that Tesla intends to integrate the Model 2 into its future robotaxi ecosystem once both regulation and technology are ready. According to unofficial sources, the standard version of the Model 2 could achieve a driving range of around 300 miles, despite having a battery capacity of just over 50 kilowatt hours. That figure may sound hard to believe, but it becomes far more reasonable when you factor in the vehicle's low weight, highly optimized aerodynamics, and the efficiency of Tesla's next-generation battery technology. Tesla is also rumored to offer a long-range variant for drivers who need more distance at a higher price, but still extremely competitive compared to the broader market. Taken together, these elements suggest that the Model 2 is far more than just Tesla's cheapest car ever. It's a response to intensifying competition, especially from Chinese automakers like BYD, and the result of a significant shift in Elon Musk's strategic thinking. Rather than focusing solely on high margins and mid-to-premium segments, Tesla appears ready to enter the truly affordable EV market. That said, as we've mentioned before, all of this information is based on leaks and has not been officially confirmed by Tesla or Elon Musk. Reliability is estimated at around 60% and we'll have to wait until next year to know for sure. However, in our view, if these leaks turn out to be accurate, the Model 2 could be the vehicle that reshapes the global EV market. It wouldn't just put pressure on competitors, it would force the entire industry to confront a fundamental question. Are electric vehicles truly meant for everyone? And with the Model 2, Tesla seems to be offering a very clear answer. That wraps up today's episode. What do you think about this car and Tesla's almost insane production system behind it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.